today I'm reading from um, the Bibelow Seed and Other Lost Stories by Dr. Seuss. There's a very important science story in here called Gustav the Goldfish. The man who sold Gustav the Goldfish to us had warned us, take care. When you feed this small cuss, just feed him a spot. If you feed him a lot, then something might happen. It's hard to say what. That's what the man said. So I tried to take care just to feed Gus a pinch, but it never seemed fair. Because he always looks sad when he gulped down the stuff, and his eyes seemed to tell me, this isn't enough. Then he'd always blow bubbles as much as to say, come on, don't be stingy, I'm hungry today. Gus had to have food, not a spot but a lot. No matter what happened, I didn't care what. So finally one day, poor old Gus looked so thin, I took the whole box and I dumped it all in. But the second I did it, I saw I had done wrong. That fish food, I guess, must be terribly strong. The second Gus ate it, he grew twice as long. He grew twice as thick and he grew twice as wide. Too big for his fishbowl, his tail was outside. He was bursting the glass, he was big as a trout. I grabbed for the rose bowl, I yanked the rose out. My mother's best bowl, but I spilled Gustav in it. But what was the use, cause the very next minute, Gustav was bigger, as big as a shad, and he looked through the glass, and he looked mighty mad, and he splashed, and he thrashed, and he burped, and he blew, as much as to tell me, I blame this on you. This is your fault, because you fed me a lot. Get out of here quick. Get me out of this spot. To the back of the house, to the kitchen I ran. I needed more water. I filled up a pan. I poured Gustav in it as fast as I could, but he kept right on growing. It did him no good. I poured him from pot into pot after pot. But the faster I poured him, the bigger he got. Then I ran out of pots, but poor Gustav still grew. Oh, it's awful what one box of fish food can do. Water, more water, he'll die in the air. I raced from the kitchen and up the hall stair. Upstairs to the bathroom, and oh, what a climb. Cause the fish in my arms grew and grew all the time. Each step he kept groaning and rolling his eyes. When I got to the top, he was halibut size. He was almost too big for a fellow to lug, but I got to the bathtub and put in the plug. And I turned on the cold water faucet full blast. Gustav, I panted, you're safe now at last. Gustav, I panted, this tub ought to do. It holds my whole family, it ought to hold you. But it didn't hold Gustav, he kept right on growing. And soon the whole bathtub was full overflowing. And my parents I knew would be very upset, because the water was making the bathroom quite wet. It was up past my ankles, my knees, past my waist. And I saw Father's shaving brush, toothbrush, and paste, bobbing round in the ocean. But what could I do? Because Gustav, my goldfish, still grew and he grew. He was big as a dolphin, a porpoise, a seal. Oh, why did I ever feed Gustav that meal? Just because I was careless and fed him a lot, I would drown in this bathroom as likely as not. Then bang, with a crash and a terrible roar, and a splintering smash, we burst right through the door. And Gustav and I shot out into the halls and back down the stairs like Niagara Falls. Then the first thing I knew, we were down in the cellar. And Gustav, my fish, was a gigantic feller. Too wild and too dangerous to handle alone. I needed some sleep, so I rushed to the phone. I needed some help, so I rushed to the phone and quick dialed the number of Mr. Van Bus, the man who sold Gustav the goldfish to us. Come over, please, mister. He's big as a whale. He's banging the furnace to bits with his tail. I knew, sighed the man, this would happen one day. And he hung up the phone and he came right away with a lot of strange bottles tucked into his vest and a thing on his back like a medicine chest. And he took it down cellar and worked underwater on Gustav for more than an hour and a quarter. What he did, I don't know, but he must have been wise because he shrank Gustav back to his regular size. And he said as he handed my fish back to me, it was mighty hard work, boy, but this time it's free. If it happens again, I shall charge a big fee. So next time take care, and he stalked through the door. Since then I've fed Gustav so much and no more. Since then I have not fed him more than a spot, because something might happen, and now I know what. Okay.